Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video present USIU Hockey from the Mira Mesa House of Ice. Tonight's game, the USIU alumni facing USIU. George Marble is your play-by-play -play man, and we'll be back with all the action right after this. to this hockey game, USIU, United States International University, against their alumni folks in the blue and purple uniforms. And we've just got on the way face off. And now we've got the blue team, USIU, going right near the goal now. And, there are, and now the white team at USIU University. Going past here to the red, right side near the boards. And against there, and whistle is blown, and the puck is dead, and we'll have a face off right near the goal and the defending side as the blue team USIU United States International University alumni are defending the goal to our left to our right and the USIU white team to our left and we're beginning again face off white team control shot save right there stick save and now away from the goal against the wall have some battling underneath there and the puck now released, and we have USIU, the white. And now shot's good, and score. Number five making the goal. Let's take a look at that play again, a nice goal. A right center shot right down the middle of the rink, past the blue line, and USIU is in front, one nothing. 14-17 remaining in this opening period. So USIU against their alumni folks, USIU alumni are now leading 1-0 and a quick go with only 43 seconds into the opening period of play. Now the alumni control it. Number 17 there, Todd McGauley. McGauley not passing off. Number 7, showing some penetration, going around. Now number 4, hard shot, save there. A little bit of a gang in the goal and now battling around the goal area. Number 19 there for the white. Pat Mayer. And now another battle across the blue line. Now across the red center line. And now back the other way, going towards the USIU way. And now the alumni trying to get out of their area as they are in the USIU zone. And now sticks six all around the goal and whistle blown. And we're going to have a face off. George Morrow with you. I'm with Shakey's Pizza and also Versatile Video, welcoming you to this game at the Mira Mesa House of Ice. We're just underway. We had a quick goal scored with only 43 seconds into the first period. And that was scored by number five for the alumni, uh, Bill Rowland. And so it's now 1-0, the alumni over USIU. Now USIU in the white. Left side, I missed the swing there by the by the puck, by the stick, and now we have the alumni taking over. Now a nice battle against the boards, a nice check there against the glass, whistle, and another face-off coming up. And now the referee will throw the puck on the ice as the players get set to do it up. And here we go, face-off, controlled by the alumni. Shot against the boards, clearing and away, and now the white team, the alumni, to foe USIU. Battling around now, USIU. Penetrating past the blue line into alumni zone, going around the other way back into the USIU zone and now going towards the goal line and behind the goal. And now USIU trying to go over to their offensive side. Number eight there, making some penetrations. That is Doug Hannison. Anderson now near the area where teammate Lawrence Duke is, and uh, a nice hard shot and a nice save there by goalie. Uh, Brian Clark shot that one for USIU. And now another hard shot, wide right side by USIU. And now the player there without the uniform, circling around, and now going across the center line. Now to the right side, into the alumni zone, over the blue line, now to the left side. Nice battle, and out of bounds, the puck goes. 
and a line change coming up right here. Both teams making a lot of changes. As we get set to begin play again. And now the face-off controlled by USIU. Shot blocked. And now USIU will go back again on the offensive side of the ring. Now a hard slashing shot in the corner. No one was there to take the pass, if so intended. Now USIU alumni taking control. Alumni now going past these red line, and now past the blue line into USIU zone, and now against the boards right there. And a little battle going on. Now USIU gets it back. And number seven, and Tom Jens has it. Jens passing it off to Paul Loggy, and now whistle blown. And a face off. Some more substitutions coming in for the alumni. This is an annual thing. This is the second year it has happened. Last year, USIU was the winner. And I'm sure this is going to be an annual thing for quite some time. Now the blue line, and now the USIU, Paul Loggy. Loggy now losing control and going back now the other way. And now Loggy's got a back passing it through. And now the forward, Gary Renard. Battling in the corner there. Good battle so far. Both teams pretty much even. At least in terms of skating and play. Both, a lot of shots on goal by both sides. A little bit of an edge, I'd say, on USIU. Even though the alumni are ahead by one. USIU the visitors tonight. Alumni, hard shot. Wide of the goal. Shot by number two, Tom Irving. And now Leo Hanna. Leo driving the ring, going around the goal, and now losing a little control of the puck. Now a nice little pass, but now 16 has it, and he had control of it for a moment. Now going back there to the red line and past the offensive area for USIU. They're up by one, one nothing over the alumni so far. We are in the first period of play. Shot wide to the left side by USIU as they're penetrating deeply into that area. And now a nice laying save by the goalie. And we shall have a face-off coming up. Face-off alumni zone. We have a battle going on, and the alumni have control for a moment here. But USIU getting it back, and now an inside attempt, but not quite. Around the goal there, didn't quite have a chance to pass it. And now another shot right near there, and a good glove save by the goalie. And that was a biggie. And we'll have another face-off. Stensgard facing it off against the other player and a shot, save, glove save by goalie again for the alumni and that of course being as I look here in my roster sheet Ken Bales, oh, Ken Bales the goalie for the alumni shot blocked there and now we have 19, Pat Mayer getting a stick in there now the alumni going watching the puck go the other way as they uh, penetrate down to their side of the rink, and now against the wall there, a little puff of ice. And now 19 driving it, Pat Mayer. Mayer now driving it, 16 next to him. Pete Stensgard. Stensgard now battling it, and now we have Ken Poyer. Poyer, the defenseman going down there. Poyer's got it back, passes it off to Pat Mayer. Mayer now passing the puck a little ways down, and all the way to the other end of the side, under the rink. Alumni now trying hard to get some penetration on their offensive side. They have not done so very much in this game so far in this first period of action. Across the blue line now, going back the other way, and USIU. USIU making some more penetrating moves, but uh, alumni are fighting back. 
Six minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this first period. USIU one, and the alumni nothing. And now a whistle. And we'll have a face off in alumni zone. USIU, a hard shot attempt, blocked. And now USIU alumni going down to the other end. It's getting hard there, number 12. Whistle blown, however. And we'll have a face off coming up. Face off, alumni zone, controlled by the goalie there for a second, the alumni slapping it away. And the alumni now are trying to clear the puck away, and they do so across the red line, the blue line, and a hard shot goal, and off the rim there, the right side. Now number six for the alumni, trying again to see if he can get it in. And now number 21, USIU, with the puck. Kelly Sparrow, Kelly, now overseeing the action. And we have Doug Spedding in now. Doug wearing the 35. Now 21, Sparrow. Nice shot to the right side, just short of the goal, off the right rim of the goal. And you look there at the goalie, number 35, Joe Norris for USIU alumni. Having a tough night so far. He's had a lot of shots against him, but uh, doing a good job nonetheless here in the opening period of play. Now I'll have a face-off in alumni zone. They control there by the alumni behind the goal, and now trying to clear it away. Cross the blue line, cross the red line as they're in their offensive side into USIU zone. USIU now trying to battle it in towards their part of the ring. And now USIU shot there. Nice save by the goalie and deflected away to the left. Now the puck now in the left-hand corner going USIU's way. And a whistle. We have 6.59 left. 1-0 is the score. USIU over the alumni. 1-0. And now the face-off. Controlled by USIU alumni. Pop shot there, far away from the goal. And now USIU will control it. Defenseman there, Leo Hanna. Passing it off, passing it over the red line. Across the blue line, now we're back in alumni zone. Alumni trying to penetrate more offensively. They have the last few moments of play here in the first period. Left side shot, why? Off the stick, excuse me, of the goal. A nice shot, another shot, and a nice save there by the goalie. So two quick shots by the alumni. Whistle and play will stop. Now for USIU alumni is Dave Kemp and Tom Irving. And coming in are a couple new players, number four and number 16, Morty Akamukyuk. And now face off, USIU zone. Controlled, USIU. Cross on over to the blue line now and trying to get through the center area, and they do. But the purple jerseys are there for the alumni, and they bring it back. USIU, though, fighting hard here to stay ahead in this game. One nothing, they do lead. Battle underneath, and now a nice try pass attempt, but a little wide of M.F. Sherman for the alumni. Now an inside shot there, wide left side. Shot attempted there by number 10 of the alumni. Now an inside area getting closed in as the alumni fight for that extra shot of the goal. But now USIU trying to clear it away and are doing so successfully. And now a hard shot, stick save by the goalie. USIU fighting hard, not going to worry about where they're shooting from. They'll just make the shots nonetheless and are doing so right here. 
17 now, a USIU alumni, Todd Migali with the puck. Todd passing it off, and now number one has it back for USIU. Behind the net, goal, and now Todd McCauley with the puck. Todd passing it off to number 10. Number 10 showing some control and trying to look for a shot. He, does, he doesn't quite get it all the way. He's broken up there. And now number four. Close shot in, and now we have another attempt. Not quite as the ball, as the puck goes to the left of the goal and out away from it. And now another battle near the boards. And now shot attempt, kind of soft and behind the goal. And USIU alumni are just making their chances. They're hoping to make opportunities. A whistle is blown, however. And we'll have a face-off at USIU zone. I look at some jubilant fans out there looking really psyched up for this game and ready to get into the flow of things. Face-off now, USIU zone. And controlled by number 16 from USIU, Pete Stensgard. Stensgard passing it off to Kevin Poirier. Poirier had it in the corner. Stensgard now near the puck, going over. But now the alumni have control. One night getting a little more momentum now, and this first period winds down. 3.58 remaining. Whistle blown, and we're going to have a face-off. There we go, right at, at the blue line. Near the USIU zone, and USIU has control. And Kevin Poirier. Poirier passing it off. Broken up there. Number 19 making a nice play. George uh, the Singer. The Singer passing it off now to Dale Ingram. Ingram now over to number nine, doing a fine job. And USIU getting it back. Now going across the red line, the center portion of the ring. USIU again having it, having control. And now 22, it's Kevin Poirier. Kevin now over to Pete Stensgard. Brian Clark, you see there, right near the center area, trying to defend this, and now trying to block the shot, and the shot is in! And a nice play there. I believe it was number 27 making the goal on a beautiful assist pass. Let's take a look at that play again. A nice assist from one of the players, and then 27 making the goal. The score now is 1-1. We got 2.58 remaining. Correction, that was the 258 remaining in the first period as the score is now one to one. As we had a goal by the alumni. Back action now, we have some heavy skating going on with the alumni penetrating over to their side again, showing some more enthusiasm as this game rolls along. Battle underneath now near the blue line. And now a nice outlet pass there, and a shot is saved. And another shot is wide to the right side. And the alumni are making some hard shots really close and doing a good job and are getting back into this game again. USIU now penetrating deep into the zone of the alumni. And a whistle blown, and uh, I believe that might have been icing. We have a line change coming up for both teams. Going out for the alumni, Steve Slack. And coming in, we have David Kim. And also, Mickey McCullough. Face off now, USIU zone, 204 remaining in the first period. Battle now in the left corner of the rink. And who's going to come out with it? It will be USIU and Leo Hanna. Hanna now back to the area over there, trying to get the puck back. And now a sh shot attempt away from the goal as USIU tries to clear some ice and get that puck away. Alumni now showing some more enthusiasm again. They're doing it, doing a good job. 14 over. And 
And now USIU, across the blue line. And get no further than that. The alumni now going over the right side. Now USIU, crossing over the blue line in the blue zone against the alumni. Battle underneath there in the corner. Pretty relaxed hockey game in a certain way for hockey itself. No penalties as of yet. Not too much checking. This is more of a friendly confrontation in a sense. Just people going out and having a good time. Whistle blow now as they're wrapped up underneath the left side there of the rink. And line changes will be coming up again. And we have Leo Hanna, Doug Spedding going out of the game. And coming in will be Doug Hennison and Kohina Naka Nakokita. And the face off. As the alumni try to clear it away. And a good skating job there. Number 10 shows some penetration. And now a shot is a little bit off the goal. Now another inside attempt. Shot could not be made. Block now another shot near the goal and another attempt. Not quite there. So the alumni had it, the goal knocking on their door, but not quite in time. Whistle blown, however. I believe that's going to be icing as we have a face off going the other way. And you see more fans coming into this game. More people coming to the rink as place is not filled up quite yet. Face off, USIU zone. Shot there with the alumni wide, and another shot score. And let's see, look at that play again. Number four had the puck, he shot it hard, but his teammate number three had it on the right side and threw the goalie's legs for the score. And the alumni are ahead now, two to one. 50 seconds remaining in this first period. So we'll give an assist to number three there, doing a fine job, MF Sherman. And a number four, unidentified player, doing a good job scoring that goal. An alumni now, 2-1 lead. 41 seconds remaining in this first period. Now the alumni getting near the goal again. And now a shot outside and a pass. And broken up there near the goal. And now a lot of battling going underneath the right corner of the goal. And a stoppage in play. <coughs> Off. USI zone. USIU doing a good job tonight. They were up 1 0, but uh, the alumni have pulled away with a couple of goals and they're just trying to keep their composure so far as this hockey game is a long way to go. Face off now, USIU zone. Alumni still penetrating in the offensive half of their side, doing a good job. Alumni getting back away as USIU makes some penetration of their own. Going back the other way, USIU. There's 17 there trying to clear the puck. Very hard, Paul Loggy. Whistle. And that is the end of the first period with the score. USIU 2 and the USIU alumni 1. We are Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video. We hope you're enjoying the show. What we want to know is when is your next scheduled game, because we'd like to be there to tape it. Hey, give us a call at 693-1913 or ask one of the managers. Thank you.
get bust off and get out of here. No! Come on. And you see number four there, the man who scored the last goal for the alumni to put him ahead two to one. It was an interesting goal. The nice was actually <clears throat> attempted by Emma Sherman first, but then number four saw the goal, the last chance to score one, and the legs were wide spread by the goalie, and he shot it right through for a score. So it's two to one now with the USIU club ahead of the alumni. And we're entering now the second period, and we begin. As the alumni control, the alumni defending to our left and the USIU team to our right in the second period. USIU driving now towards the alumni zone. In the corner there, number 17, Paul Loggy with the puck. And wrapped up a little bit, and we'll have a whistle. Correction, that was number 11, Gary Renard. And he'll be facing off against the alumni. And here we go. It is controlled by the alumni. Behind the goal. Nice pass out left right there. Going to the left, over the red line, and now over the blue line into USIU zone. And now the penetration begins again for the alumni. And now a shot in, it scores. And number 10 slashed it home on the right side. We'll take a look at that one again. Number 10 made a good goal as he was right inside there to the right side. It is now a three to one game as the USIU alumni are ahead. And a nice goal indeed it was. We have 14-17 remaining in this second period. Face off, center zone. Taken away by USIU. They're penetrating to their side of the rink. Going around the opposite end of the goal for the Alumni, number 10 there, who scored one of the goals, penetrating deeply. A shot, no a pass to the left side. Number 10, showing some good skating. Knocked down there, has a little check on the corner, a whistle blown. with you here for Shaky's Pizza and also versatile video. Anybody wanting to be a part of this whole thing, just give us a ring, 693-1913. We'll be happy to be out there for you, for your team. Just come on in to Shaky's and enjoy the game. Back to action now. Puck sailing around. USI, you're trying to get it out of the zone half of the, for them on the defensive side. Now going over to the red line and blue line and a nice high hopping uh, puck. Uh, pass, and now a shot, six save right there. And now going back, the uh, alumni now trying to get back on track as the USIU team is trying to penetrate away and go inside. USIU now going back away from the blue line, now going back into USIU zone, trying to get it out of their own zone and move the puck away. Cleared away over the red line and back away towards the alumni. Alumni now on their side, penetrating deeply, number seven. A nice, tough attempt there. Now again, inside, shot is over the goal and away. Now a nice board job there, a lot of checking in the corner, and coming out with the puck will be the alumni. Now USIU, USIU taking a little break, a little bit of a charge now, some quick skating now going on. Broken up, though, by number nine. And now a whistle, and a line change, and a face-off. 3-1 alumni, by two. We got 12 minutes, 24 seconds, second period. Face-off now controlled by USIU. Going over past the red line, going back to the alumni zone at USIU. Now a Attempted penetration by one of the USIU men there. The left side, and now USIU, shot, stick save by the goalie. Good try, though. And now the alumni will try to clear it away. A nice clearing job indeed, although USIU getting it back. Alumni now battling it over. Cross the red line into 
alumni zone, a whistle. And I think he may have an offside there. So I'll have a face off in the alumni zone. Now controlled by the alumni. Alumni have it. A little bit of a drive. A nice pass right there. 27. A slash shot wide to the left side. He was one of the ones who had a goal. Actually scored the first one in the opening moments of play tonight. And now USIU's alumni, Jane Chase, all the way back. The goalie, though, has control of it. And 27, excuse me, number two, not being Tom Irving, has it. Irving passing it off to Peter Robertson. Robertson now passing it back. 14 has it. No, it doesn't have it. No, going back to USIU's way. 35. Doug Spedding. Spedding passing it off to the left side. Cross center ice. And now USIU again, attempting to cross the red line. And more line changes coming as a whistle is blown. Nakoita back in the game, and also Gordy Stewart. Now a battle there, a little rough housing, a little checking going on. Game getting a little more physical as we go along, and another nice check there behind the goal. And coming out of the puck will be USIU, driving and penetrating, but broken up there by a good defensive job, number four, for the alumni. Whistle as the puck is frozen against the boards there, and we'll have a face off. There, number two, Tom, uh, one of the players there, Gary Ryan Clark, correction, and now a puck is deflected over to the right side, a whistle again being blown, and we're gonna have another face off coming up. Take a look at that little young fan there, and she's a, a future for the hockey industry. She loves hockey, I believe, I'm sure her mother tells her it's a great sport, and she seems to be having a good old time. Back in action now. Left side of the rink, controlled around by uh, the alumni. Alumni have it. Now going back the other way, USIU, as they try to score another goal. They're behind by two, 3-1. Alumni playing some very, very good hockey at the moment. Shot wide to the left side. And now the alumni will clear it out. Some quick skating going on. And now the other way being cleared. Stopped there at center zone. And now controlled by the alumni again as they get the puck going back the other way. 5.25 remaining in this second period. USIU, alumni ahead 3-1. Number one, they're doing a fine job. Skating around, 17 now. Shot a little wide, more of a pass, I guess. Battling it around the boards on this left side now. A little check over there, though, near the blue line. Battle again on the side. Taken away, and USIU. And now we have Gary Renard with it. Passing it away. And now number four with it for the alumni. Number five falling down there, and that was a USIU player. As the puck gets kind of seesawed into the center ice. And now the alumni trying to take some charge, and another good race now down the ice. And an attempted pass, kind of broken up. Good defense by USIU. And now uh, Dale Ingram with the puck. Passing it off to George Litzinger. 
Singer passing across away. Number six has it now. Tima Ofeg. And now USIU coming back again. Across the blue line into alumni zone. Alumni now getting it back out in time. Across the blue line, cross center zone. Now going into USIU territory. And a battle with the puck. And now a shot. Pass, and it is saved by the goalie, and that was a close call. So a good defense there, the goal by the goalie for the USIU team, to Doug Spedding. He will have a face-off in USIU zone. Face-off USIU zone, controlled by USIU, passing it off, and now the alumni have it back. Alumni trying to clear it away. Good battle now. USIU passing it past the red line, going away over to the blue line into USIU zone. And the score, as that was kind of a thing, I didn't quite see that. And it does a score, and the alumni have done it another time. It is now four to one. So we have 709 remaining, 4-1 alumni. And a quick goal there to the right side. Kind of a, so fast I didn't even see it quite off, but uh, nonetheless, it is in the net. We got a three-goal lead as the alumni now, again penetrating against the boards, playing some aggressive hockey in the second period. And take a look at the crowd now, getting a little bigger now as the game goes along, as this hockey game is in the thrust of exciting action. Back now as USIU crossing the red line and going over. But the alumni have other ideas. They grab the puck back. Behind the goal and out of the right side. So the battle going underneath there as it continues to go that way. Is alumni trying to get it out of their own end of the ring. The puck now taken away by number 16. Now a shot attempt is not going to be made, but a nice attempt to assist by number 20, Lawrence Duke. <coughs> now a battle going away. The alumni going over the blue line. They're trying to get a goal of their own again. Now going inside. Tap there. The goalie trying to trap it, but now he'll stomp on the puck and it will be dead. And we'll have a face-off in USI zone near the goal line. And now the face-off coming up here. Whistle blow. Now I guess the face-off was a little premature, and they'll do it one more time. And now the face-off, controlled by USIU. Nice clearing job. USIU now across the blue line, and now across the center red line. A nice outlet pass there. As one of the players gets around trying to get it. A little bit past them, though. Battle underneath the boards behind the goal. Take it away. The alumni have it back. 27 there. One of the peers of today's game. And now penetration left side. Not enough as USIU alumni get back in time. 5-11 remaining in this second period. Shot save, another shot's good save right there. And uh, they love and I will get it out of the way. But now another hard shot is save left side and a good stick save by the goalie for the alumni. And you see there the goalie is Ken Bales doing a fine job tonight in the goal. A lot of shots on goal against him. As we have a face off now in the USIU zone. 
Gretchen, the alumni zone, and here we go. The alumni taking it away across the blue line and over to the red center line, and now the opposite way, and now one on one, a shot attempt, no good, and a whistle. As you take a look at Spool, the referee with the puck, getting set to uh, deliver a faceoff. No penalties called in this hockey game. It's been a very calm uh, game in terms of that. So far, so good as the players all are on the ice. Even up. No power plays have happened tonight. And now driven away by one of the alumni. Hard shot over the rink and out of bounds. And we'll have a face off. And line two just coming in. Some new players out of there for USIU. Kelly Sparrow coming in is number three, Aliyo Hanna. And number 18 for Kohina Nakohita. And the blue team, the alumni, taking a lot of changes also in there. Face off now. Controlled by the alumni. Alumni, nice pass, but broken up there nicely by number five for the uh, USIU team. Alumni now getting it back and trying to get something going in, in terms of their passing game. Pass now, deflected away in a, a six, in a six save by the goalie. Behind the net now. Now we have number 19, George Litzinger in the game. As the alumni try to battle it back and clear this puck away from enemy territory. Well, now, now driving away, 23, passing it off. A nice one off his, off his stick, though, however. That was Pete Robertson with the pass off number 29 stick for the alumni. So George Lissinger will dish it out over to the red line and cross the blue line and taken away by Robertson, but Robertson getting it stolen away, and USIU will get it back. Nice pass there, but no one was right there in the mark. Had promises, though, and now the alumni will take, a, will take control. Battling it out now, the alumni, and some high sticking in a certain way, really close to that, and it's, this game is getting much more physical as we get into it. Behind the glass, a nice check there, a shot save, and a shot score. And the USIU team have come back with a, with a goal. 5-1 now, the score as the alumni seem to be pulling away at this point. 2.41 remaining in this second period. Face off now, center zone. And controlled by the alumni again, as the alumni have played very, very uh, mean hockey in this second period of play. They have scored four goals and uh, are looking for another one. So 5-1 is your score, alumni by four. Now controlled by U.S. All right. To get the puck back. Crossing over now. A long clearing shot and a good job by USI. Moving it away from their territory. Now controlled by the alumni. Alumni on the right side. Some battling on the boards, a little checking going on. No penalties have called, have been called yet in this game. Battling on the right side, a shot against the boards, away from the goal as USI clears it away. And now across the blue line, USI U going over and trying to make some penetration. A shot, hard shot. Nice save over to the left side, a little bit off, but a six save by the goalie. USI U trying again as they're penetrating inside the zone of uh, the alumni. Alumni Bell getting the stick on it and getting the puck away. Crossing the blue line, over to the red center line, out past that, and now into USIU territory. The alumni making some more inroads towards that goal arc. But the puck is cleared away very nicely by USIU, and we'll start it over again. One minute, 
And two seconds remaining in this second period of play. As the score now, as you see there, five to one, a USIU alumni leading USIU. The second annual meeting of these two teams. So the face-off will be coming up here in this second period. We only have a minute and two seconds left. But the alumni have cut through for four goals in this period alone. Now a clearing and done very well by USIU. We back the other way, the alumni across the red line, trying to penetrate into their half of the zone. And a shot. And a score. And a nice feed by one of the players. Number 11 there inside goal, Dale Ingram scoring. And now it is a 6-1 to one game, USIU alumni. So a face-off for the center zone. Ingram scoring that last goal for USIU, doing a fine job. A nice feed from it from uh, Todd McGauley, making the assist on that play. And now a battle again, and we have a face-off coming up. And you see a fan walking by there quickly in the shadows. And a face-off coming up in the USIU zone. So you having some problems. The alumni have all been all over them this whole period. Five times they've scored. We're winding down now. 20 seconds to go as we count down. The alumni just driving it away. USIU just not making enough penetration at this point. Crossing over to the blue line. Number 20 for USA, Lawrence Stoop. Passing it away to the left side in the goal. What, two seconds, one, and that is it. The end of the second period with the score. The USIU alumni six and USI one. You're away from home on your wall of the store. All your cash is gone. What will you do? What will you do? going to cry. What is that animal doing on my wrist? Well, we're, we're demonstrating how it moves. But I know how it moves. What? That is a tarantula. That is a tarantula. Now, they're not as poisonous as most people think. Uh, how poisonous are they? Well, what, is, what is he doing there? Preparing to strike? Uh, Isn't it better if they keep moving? If, you, mean, don't, if you don't anger them, normally... Don't they... anger them. <laughs> Am I going to say you're ugly or something like that? I'm not going to get him angry. How do you get a tarantula angry? Well, <laughs> by blowing on it. I'm not going to blow on it. <laughs> Why would I blow on a tarantula? <laughs> Give me one good reason. Two periods have gone by now, and we've made some big mistakes. We've had the wrong teams. Uh, uh, it's going to be the USIU teamers in blue, not in white, and the alumni are not in blue. They are in white. So check that, all of you. I'm sure you all know that. Uh, apologize for the mistake, but the USIU are leading 6-1, to one, and the first goal was scored for them by John Christopoulos in the first period of play. Then a USIU came back, the alumni did, and scored. Bill Rollins scored a goal, and it was 1-1. But then uh, things started to erupt. Four, five goals in that period, one by Gary Renard, by uh, Darren uh, Clarkin, John uh, Christopoulos, and uh, Jeff Dubeck put a little ice on the score, and it's now 6-1 to one as we go to the third period of play. And you see now the Zamboni and the fans looking at it right now as they're, they're anticipating the beginning of the third period. So that's the story now after two periods of play. We'll be back with you for the third period in just one moment.
for the face-off. We begin the third period. The alumni. Now, the alumni are ahead by five. Excuse me, USIU are ahead of the alumni by five. I will get that right. The alumni are in white, and the USIU team are in blue. So we have that straight, and should have a good third period coming up. Here we go, across the ice, USIU. Going away, so a little splash in the right-hand corner over there. As the USIU played a good, solid hockey game, now controlling it for the alumni, number three, M.F. Sherman. Battling out there, we have Morty Akimukyuk. Now crossing the red line, we have the USIU. USIU now. Getting the puck back as the alumni skate the other way. Shakey's Pizza on Versa Little Video welcome you to this hockey game and hope you're enjoying it as we have a whistle on the play and I believe uh, icing, excuse me, uh, will be a face-off coming up on the side for the alumni. So the battle begins as the alumni have been struggling tonight. They did have a big victory last year in the first annual game between these two teams. They did defeat USIU 4-0, but this year it's a little different as the USIU team has taken a commanding 6-1 lead and scored five times in the second period to break the game open. So that's where we stand now as the third period has gotten underway. And now the faceoff at this point. Battle and control by USIU. And now a nice slash and a hard pass the other way and a hard shot wide to the right. Shot there by uh, Rick Ludgren. And the battle begins. Crossing around USIU. Dominating this entire game. Exception of the parts, exception of parts of the first period. USIU now crossing the blue line and crossing over to the red center zone and going right into the USIU alumni zone. USIU again, right side, and now deflected away and now back and USIU with a puck again. Number nine there, Gordy Stewart has it. Stewart back to Gentz, Tommy Gentz around the goal as they try to throw it in there and get their first goal of the third period. And now a whistle as the puck is dead against the boards. Six to one is your score as the USIU is leading the alumni. 16.05 is your time left in the third period. Face off now in USI zone. Battle is up and now we have the alumni fighting and fighting hard, but uh, USIU is driving the area. The alumni now getting it out. For 35, the alumni, Joe Norris. Norris passing it off to George Linsinger. And now behind the goal. There you go. As we get inside now, USIU alumni trying to get one on the board. But USIU not letting that happen so far in this third period. Across the blue line now, a little battle against the boards on that side. Now crossing the red line and over to the blue line, and we are now into the USIU territory. Offensively, that is. USIU passing it out and clearing it away, and it's going everywhere. And now the goalie for the USIU team clears it away. Now USIU has a little break. Number 11 there, Gary Renard. Renard on his own, and now passing it back to... Uh, Number nine, uh, Gordy Stewart, but now going back the other way as they lose it back to USIU alumni. Number eight, 23, taking a shot wide. That was George Lissinger, I believe, on that shot. Now broken up there by USIU alumni. And they're gonna come back their way here, crossing the red line. And a hard driving shot, a nice catch there by the goalie. That was number four, Darren Clark on the move. And now Clark can turn and defend. A nice save there, Darren. And a hard shot by Tom McGauley for the alumni. 
Coley giving another chance, and he's got to score. Dale Ingram, number 11, correction, making the goal on a nice fadeaway to the right side. And now it is six to two score. Take a look at that play again. You see McCauley going to the right side and making a fadeaway to the right corner of the net, splashing through, and a second goal has been scored. So with 6-2, 6-11 remaining, the alumni now trailing by four. And now the faceoff. Controlled by the alumni. As they try very hard to just get one goal to make it a respectable score. Shot, six save. And to no avail there, and that is the ball game. That is the hockey game, as they say. And the final score is USIU 6 and the USIU alumni 2. Be back with a recap in just one moment. You see up there on the big scoreboard here in Mira Mesa House of Ice, USIU six over the USIU alumni, which had two. So a down a game by USIU. First goal scoring in the first period. They got off to a quick one nothing lead with only 43 seconds into the first period. That goal was scored by John Christopoulos. And then goals later on in the second period, but one was back by the alumni in Bill Rollins, so it made it a 1-1 game after the first period, and, uh, and it was a pretty close game at that point in terms of even the penetration on ice by both sides. But then the second period, USIU uh, took complete command, uh, scoring five times. Gary Renard, uh, Daryl Clarkin, Jeff Dubak, and Leo Hanna all shared in the scoring of goals, and uh, that pretty much broke open the hockey game, and after that third period of play, a last second um, third period goal, actually kind of into the period, but getting them sort of hopes for the end of the game. Dale Ingram scored, and that made it 6-2, to two, but uh, pretty much uh, the game was wrapped up by those five big goals in the second period. So the final score again here from Mira Mesa House of Ice, USIU 6, and the alumni 2. I'm George Wormel for Shakey's Pizza, and also Versatile Video, saying so long for now. This has been a Versatile Video production.